I don't know if you can see it, but beyond that tree right there is another bunny. My yard is loaded with bunnies. Look at that. There he goes. And there goes my dog. Look at her. <laughs> She's such a badass, isn't she? <laughs> Picking on poor defenseless little bunnies. Bunnies are nice, but that's not what this video is about. No, 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 no. I got a walking tip today, guys. I got a tip for you. If you're a walker like I am, I got a pretty good tip for you. Now, before I tell you guys the tip, I want to let you know I'm no expert by any means, okay? But I am an expert because I've been doing it for over three years. So, the tip today is the walking shoe. Yeah. If you ever wonder when is the time to get a new pair of walking shoes? Well, I'm going to tell you. Now, if you look this up on the internet, they're going to say, well, after you put so many miles in it, after you had them for so many months, well, you know, you know, you know. If you walk as much as I do, you're going to know when to change. Because when I know when to change is, is when I start getting pains in my legs, when I start getting shin splints, I know then it's time to get a new pair of walking shoes. Now, you take my walking shoes now, they look to be in good shape, don't they? But these things got about 400 miles on them. 450 miles. Bottom ain't too bad. They still got a few more miles left in them, you think? Well, I say it's almost time for me to change. Although them walking shoes look like they got some life left in them, but they don't have that much. Ooh. I'm starting to get shin splints, so it tells me it's time to change a pair of walking shoes. Them were a good pair of walking shoes I bought. They did last me about, well, a little bit more than five months. I put hundreds of miles on them, hundreds of miles. So they lasted out longer than I, you know, what I thought they would. About five months. I bought them back in hmm, beginning of February. Paid a fortune for them too. So my next pair of walking shoes is going to be a cheaper pair of walking shoes. I might be lucky enough to get about a, two, maybe three months out of them. So if you want a really good pair, if you walk as much as I do, you're going to have to fork out some money to get the expensive pair. These are Nikes. It wasn't that bad a pair of walking shoes. They did hurt my feet a little bit. Mainly right here on this side. It just killed my foot all the time. But they held up the abuse I gave them. Stormy! She's trying to look where that bunny nest was. So if you're a walker like I am, and you want to know when it's time to change your shoes, your body will tell you. If you start getting pains in your legs, and for no reason, it may be a time to change walking shoes. Then again, you might want to look at the walking shoes too. See, the inside sole breaks down faster than the outside does. Now, I might be able to get a few more, maybe a mm, 100 more miles out of them if I change the sole, which I might end up doing instead. Well, guys, that's my tip for you guys today. When your legs hurt and you're a walker like I am, it might be time to change your shoes. All right, Internet's still down. We're hoping to get it up in the next couple days, so bear with us. And yeah, come on, let's get out of here.